guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Magic Mail Monday! It has been about a month, I think, since I have filmed and uploaded a Magic Mail Monday video, mostly because I've had some travel and some uh, weird technical difficulties. So I am really excited to be back and sitting in my office and I have a pile of mail next to me and um, I've been really looking forward to opening up some Disney Magic Mail from my P.O. box that came from you guys. Because it's been so long since I filmed a magic mail video, I am like really behind on my mail right now. So I'm just gonna jump right in and get through as much of your mail as I can today. And if I miss you this week, then there'll be another magic mail Monday next week and probably the week after that and the week after that, etc. So we are back on track with magic mail Monday and let's open up some packages. Here we go. The first package I'm going to open is coming from Eugene, Oregon. This is from Laurel in Eugene, Oregon. Oregon. I've been to Eugene. It's a it's a very pretty place. In fact, uh, my first boyfriend was actually from Eugene, Oregon. Um, so I'm going to open this up from Laurel. Hi, Laurel. Thanks for sending me some magic mail. Ooh, I'm pulling out a book. I love getting books, um, so that's really fun. And uh, some other things, too. Let me get this stuff out. Oh, gosh. Look at this card, you guys. She sent me a card with a beautiful giraffe on it. Giraffes are my favorite animal, and I love when people send me giraffe things because I mention it, like, every once in a while. And when someone sends me a giraffe, I know that they've been um, paying attention, which is, which is really flattering, honestly. She says, Dear Disney Kitty, I love watching your videos because they let me live vicariously through your Disney collection. And then she says in parentheses, I am a broke-ass college student. Girl, I have also been a broke-ass college student in my life, so I can relate. I wanted to send you this book because of your new appreciation of Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell was always my favorite as a kid, and I loved this book. She also said there's a character in this book that reminds me of you. Her name is Beck. Beck, like Becca. She has a talent for animals. That's so cool. She also added a pin. That's very nice. Laurel, thank you so much. And look, there's a little um, giraffe sticker on the inside too. This is awesome. I love the card. Let's take a look at this beautiful book. It is called Fairy Dust and the Quest for the Egg. Fairy Dust and the Quest for the Egg. And it's actually a Disney book. It says Disney Fairies down here. I love uh, the illustrations on the cover. You can see Tinkerbell and some of her fairy friends. I really don't know like anything about the Pixie Hollow crew, so uh, I'll definitely get an education reading this. And I believe the book actually is um, illustrated. There are beautiful color illustrations inside. Oh my gosh, that one's like a centerfold illustration. Um, super fun. I can't wait to get a better look at this and uh, learn more about Tinkerbell and um, the other fairies, especially that back. Oh my gosh, she's on a bird. That is so cool. Um, so thank you so much, Laurel. This is awesome. I, I've never heard of this, but I'm excited to dig in. And Laurel also sent me a little pin and she said she wasn't sure if I uh, had it already. So let's take a look and see. I have a lot of pins, you know. Oh, it's Figment! It's a Figment Hidden Mickey and I, I actually don't have this. I don't think I've ever even um, seen this one before, but it's super, super cute. It's like a little Figment uh, heart pin. And here he is. It's a super cute pin. People either seem to love or hate Figment. I love Figment. It reminds me of my childhood. Um, I'm not a big Figment collector, but I do have some Figment pins and I love that it's like a little heart. I wish I would have made a Valentine's Day pin board because it would have been awesome to put him on there. But thank you so much. Super cute pin. Thank you again, Laurel, in Oregon for your thoughtfulness and for the giraffe and the fairies and the figment. That was a super lovely package. So big hugs to you and, um, and smooches too. The next package I grabbed is from Courtney in Colorado. Hi, Courtney in Colorado. Colorado is also um, a lovely state. Let me get this open and uh, pick out the card first. Cute little card. Ooh, I think there might be some uh, stickers in this card. So let me get the stickers out. Ooh, cute, slinky dog. <laughs> Hold on a second. Check out the card. It's a little kitty cat card. And then inside there are some um, Toy Story stickers that she cut out. And one of them is Slinky Dog, which is awesome because I love Slinky so much. And this is from Courtney and Courtney says, Becca, I just discovered your channel a few months ago and have been binging hardcore. Well, that's very flattering. Thank you for binging my channel. I love your positivity. Thank you for your content. She says she is sending me a Nick Wilde shirt and that it may be too big for me, but maybe I can use it for jammies. Awesome, okay, I love uh, I love jammies. I have lots of jammy shirts, but I, I can always use another one. Let's take a look at this shirt. Ooh, it's, um, it's very tropical. It actually looks a lot like his shirt in the movie. 
that's so cute. I've never seen this. It actually looks like if you were going to Disney bound as Nick Wilde, which maybe I will do someday. Um, that's super cute. But my favorite thing about this shirt is down here at the bottom. It says, trust me, I'm a fox. <laughs> and I love that. That's super, super clever. And here's just a close up of the print. Very, very adorable little shirt. It is really soft. So if it is a little bit big for me, it will make very comfy jammies. So thank you so much, uh, Courtney in Colorado for the shirt and for the stickers and the cute kitty card. I super appreciate it. Next up, I have a box, and this box is from Katie in Illinois. I've chatted with Katie a few times um, on Facebook. She's in my pin trading group on Facebook, and she actually reached out to me, and I actually think there might be ears in here. I think Katie started making ears recently, so I'm excited to check out what is in uh, this box, Katie. Hi, Katie. Ooh, and the card has a little um, pin attached to it. Let me take this off and show you guys. And here is the pin. It is Mickey Mouse, and he is playing Baseball. He's hitting this big, like, rubberized baseball. Super cool pin. I've never seen this one before. One fun fact about me is I used to be completely obsessed with baseball and, like, baseball history and baseball lore and baseball statistics. And when I was in college, I was um, with a few other people actually writing a book about why the uh, Boston Red Sox could never win the World Series. And then, of course, that year they actually won the World Series. So that was the end of our, our book idea. But um, really cool pin. It reminds me of a, a different time of my life when I was obsessed with um, something other than Disney. And let me open this card from Katie. Really pretty floral print on this card. And Katie says, Becca, I wanted to send you a little something as a thank you for the time and energy you put into your channel. That means a lot. I also wanted to thank you for creating your pin trading group. It's fun to keep up with what's coming out. And she says a lot of other really sweet and touching things too. And then down here, she says, here are some ears I made as a thank you. I hope you enjoy them. I certainly had fun making them. She does have a Etsy shop, an Etsy shop. Um, so I'll link to it down below. The best ears of my life. I think she just started it, but I will link you, of course, Katie. Duh. And now let's take a look at um, these ears. Oh my gosh. I remember you showed me these. We had a conversation on private message about these. These are gorgeous and they're very unique. I'm super pumped about these ears. Look, it's ears but it's also pies, ears and pies. I think I'm in love with these ears. These are so cute and like summery and fun and I'm kind of tempted to bring these down for um, Flower and Garden Festival or maybe I'll wait for the fall and, and wear them for Food and Wine Festival, but they are just dang cute ears. Here is a little close up. So you've got the red and white um, gingham bow in the center and then there's pies on either side. And I love that the filling is kind of sparkly. It could be like a cherry pie or like, strawberry rhubarb pie, which is one of my favorite kinds of pies. Oh, these are so, so pretty. I love um, the band as well. They seem like kind of lightweight, like they're gonna be really comfortable too. So thank you so much, Katie. These are awesome. I will totally be wearing these a whole bunch. Yay, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Katie, for being part of my uh, Facebook group and for being such a nice pin trading community member and for um, following my channel for so long. I know we've had conversations, I think, over the past year or so now. So um, it's awesome to get some magic mail from you. And, uh, and thank you again. I love my ears. I'll link to your shop down below. Gotta get some coffee in and then uh, we're moving right along here. This next package is from Florida. This is from Ileana in Cape Coral, Florida. Hi Ileana, thanks for sending me some mail. I'm excited to, uh, to open it. Let's see, I think there's a card inside first. Got a little Dumbo sticker on it. That's super cute. Ooh, I think it's um an Erin Condren card. I'm an Erin Condren fan too. She says, hi Becca, I saw this pin at Disney World in November and I instantly thought of you. I hope you enjoy this sly guy. Oh, I think I know who might be on this pin. Let's take a look here, get it out of its um, bubble wrap. Yes, ah, it's my favorite Nick Wilde. You know what's funny about this pin is I, I have this pin. I don't have it currently, but I had it and I gave it to somebody and then I was kind of sad because I'm getting ready to film my Zootopia pin collection and I'm like conspicuously missing this pin from it. So now I have it back. So it worked out so amazingly well and now I have one that someone gave me as a gift as opposed to one that I purchased for myself and um, gifted things are, are always 
better and nicer to, to hang on to than things that I, I gifted myself. So thank you so much, Ileana, for the pin. I'll give a little close up to my camera. And there he is. It is a Zootopia Nick Wilde pin, and he's got a little arrow pointing to the sly guy. And he's got his little sly fox grin on. These are um these are open edition. You can find these ones in the Disney parks currently, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you again, Ileana. This pin is perfect. It will fill a hole in my Zootopia collection that was actually like kind of bugging me. So this is super perfect. And uh, big hugs to you in Florida. I will be in Florida in one week from today and I cannot wait. Okay, this looks pretty fun. Does this not look fun? It's a box from Orlando and it is wrapped in Disney princess paper. I am all in on this box. This is from... Jossum, is that how you say it? Jason? Jossum? Probably getting it wrong because I often pronounce things wrongly, but this is either from Jason or Jossum in uh, Orlando, Florida. Let me, uh, let me wrestle this open a little bit here. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere on this. Let's see if I can open it right. There was a little arrow that said open from this direction, but I got it all. I got all confused, but I, I think I did it right. So let's see what is, oh my gosh. It's like a party in this box. There is a, um, there's a party hat. There's a party hat in this box. And there's all kinds of, holy moly. There's like colorful confetti. It matches my, um, my ears that I have on today. Perfect, I'm so excited. And then uh, the card just went down there. Let me grab it. The card says, greetings from Orlando, which, oh, that just makes me so excited for my trip. Literally one week from right now, at the time that I'm uploading this, I will be on an airplane on my way to Orlando, on my way to Disney World, and I flippin' can't wait. I'm so excited. Okay, it says, greetings, Becca. Thank you for being an inspirational gem in our online Disney community. Oh, wishing you and Aaron a happy new year. Here are some healthy Disney snacks to help your 2019 resolution of cleansing. Oh, that's so nice. It says, your pal in Florida, Jossum like awesome. Okay, so I think it's Jossum because it says like awesome and I think that means it's supposed to rhyme. I know who you are. Uh, I follow you on Instagram. You have a fabulous Instagram account. Thank you so, so much. I'm so excited to see what is in this magical hat. Check out this hat. It's a Mickey Mouse 2019 New Year's Happy New Year hat. I've never been to Disney for New Year's, but it's like on my bucket list, even though it sounds totally psycho. Um, and I just feel like I'm getting a little Disney New Year's like right here in this hat. All right, I'm gonna remove the packing confetti and put it back into the box. This is like the prettiest packing confetti I've ever seen. I'm just gonna shake it at my camera because I'm crazy. Ooh, and I'm seeing fun, fun things. Look at this. Got some um, Mickey, the true original 90 years stickers. These are adorable. I don't have any of these. They're Disney Vacation Club stickers. Man, I gotta join DVC. They get all the coolest, the coolest stuff. Thanks for the stickers. And I am seeing, ooh, I'm seeing some snacks and I'm also seeing um, a pin. So let me show you, ooh, look at these snacks though. We have a Chip and Dale Nature's Trail Mix. Chip and Dale Nature's Trail Mix. And it has in it, what does it have in it? Sunflower seeds, raisins, pepitas, cashews, and almonds. I love all those nuts. I love nuts. <laughs> Maybe I'll edit that out. I love that. that. Okay. Um, no, seriously. Like I love trail mix, and I love just like simple trail mix like this, like seeds and nuts and some raisins, without like you know a bunch of other like kooky fruits and M and M's and stuff. Like this is a simple, healthy trail mix, and I am gonna be noshing on this like right after I'm done filming this video. My mouth is watering thinking about like salty nuts and seeds and raisins. Okay. Moving on, it's a family channel here. Let's see, the other snack is, ooh, cute. Um, some Chippendale Snack Company Mickey pretzels. They're pretzels in the shape of a Mickey head. There they are, can you kind of see that they're shaped like Mickey? I think that one's upside down. I'm assuming you can buy these in the parks, but I've never noticed them because when I'm in the parks, all I look for is like chocolate and like chocolate dipped peanut butter things. But um, these are very healthy and I'm excited to snack on these as well. For my next trick, I will pull out of my hat a Magic Kingdom brochure. Oh, I love this one with the uh, holiday castle on it. And then finally, I did see a pin in here. Where did it go? Yes, there's a pin. And I don't have this one, but it's flipping cute as 
a, it can be. It says Minnie and Kitten. Minnie and Kitten. I love that it doesn't say the kitten's name because whoever like manufactured the backing card clearly, clearly doesn't know that Minnie's cat is Figaro, but check out this pin. It's so stinking cute. So there's Minnie and a heart and a kitten. I keep getting all these pins that would have been beautiful on a Valentine's Day pin board. And then, um, like I've said in a couple other videos, I couldn't make one this year because all of my equipment was broken. Um, so I guess I'm gonna have to save it for next year. That's just such a cute, cute pin. I, I've never seen that one, but thank you so much. I love it. Jossum, you are awesome. Jossum, that was so much fun. And it was so fun to get it in a hat filled with confetti. Like what a delightful piece of magic mail. And um, I'm a little behind, like I said, on opening. So I'm sorry I'm opening it so far after New Year's. But um, like I said, I've never been to Disney for New Year's and now I feel like I can do my own like Disney New Year's celebration here. Also, I'm so excited for the trail mix. So thank you. I hope I will get to uh, meet you sometime down in the park since you are an Orlando resident. Um, until then, I will just uh, stalk your fabulous Instagram account. All right, next up I have an envelope from Canada and the stamp has um, a little uh, Canadian goose on it. So that's pretty fun. Let me open this up. This is from S, initial S in Canada. Hi S in Canada. Let's take a look and see. It looks like there's a little letter and there might be a pin wrapped up in it. I feel, like, I feel a pin post maybe. Let's see, it says, oh yeah, here's the pin. It says, hi there. I love your channel so much. I'm new in the Disney pin collecting community and got inspired by your videos to start collecting pins. Oh, my condolences. Uh, I'm a huge Disney fan and I love to bring smiles to others. So I thought I would pass a pin along to you. It's from the Disney Loungefly mystery set. Love, Sam. Thank you so much, Sam. Um, I'm so glad that you found <laughs> pin collecting and I'm also very sorry for your wallet and your bank account because it's quite it's quite the hobby that's all I'm going to say about that let's take a look at the pin that you sent oh yes I remember seeing this set I actually did not open any of these um lounge fly mystery boxes but they were really cool this is an Ursula pin check it out it's a beautiful little pin lots of cool details I'm not a hundred percent sure what it's supposed to be it kind of looks like a little flower or accessory or a sea anemone but then the bottom has her tentacles and the top has her her hair that's really quite a cool little pin i kind of wish i had opened some of these um mystery boxes now but thank you very much thank you so much sam from canada i wish you very good luck in your pin collecting endeavors hang on to your wallet like i said and um and thank you so much for sending such a sweet note all the way from from up north I think I have time for two more packages today, so I will do um, this one next. This is from this is from Sarah in New Hampshire. New Hampshire is a state that I have never visited. Hello to Sarah in New Hampshire. Open this up and pull out a card. Card that says Becca! Exclamation point. Becca! Exclamation point. I've had too much caffeine, you guys. Okay, let's see the card. Oh my gosh, it's the white rabbit. Look at this card. So this piece of stationery is an image from the uh, Walt Disney Archives collection. It's obviously a scene from Alice in Wonderland. I think this might be some of the uh, the concept art. So we've got Alice and she's big and she's like in the house at this point and she's like snatching up the white rabbit by his ears. What a cool card. I've never seen this. I love it. I am keeping it forever. And the card says, hey, Becca, I'm so glad you liked the Mochi fantasy pin. Oh, yes, that's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I remember you. Thank you so much. This is the second pin that you've sent me, I think. I know you're cutting down on your pin collection, but saw this fantasy pin and couldn't resist getting it for you. Can you guess the theme? I wonder if it's a white rabbit pin. Hope you're having a magical start to 2019. I am. Thank you. Keep up the amazing work. Best wishes, Sarah and Zelda, Charlie, Ginny, and Luna. Cool, I'm so excited, Sarah. Thank you so much for the card. And um, I did see a pin down here, but I it's wrapped up in bubble wrap, so I didn't see it yet. But I'm wondering now if it's a white rabbit fantasy pin. People's fantasy pin designs are just so neat. If you're into pins, you guys, be really careful about getting involved in fantasy pins because that is a deep rabbit hole. Get it, rabbit hole? It's, it, it really is like a whole nother world of Disney pins, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's definitely a white rabbit 
fantasy pin. It's from um, a maker or a shop called Sugar Bones. Sugar Bones. Um, and I've never heard of that before, but I will leave a link to it. I'm gonna go check it out and then put a link to it because this pin is beautiful. Here it is, a white rabbit fantasy pin. He is looking very late. He's so cute. He's got a little heart-shaped pocket watch. I love the style of this design and the pin is like kind of beautiful gold backing and, and hefty. There's two pin posts on the back. I love the backer card. A very pleasing presentation and um, I do have a side collection of White Rabbit and this is perfect for it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Sarah. You are um, not making it easy for me to downsize my pin collection, but I am not mad about it. I'm super delighted to have this. Thank you again so much to Sarah in New Hampshire for I think the second round of magic mail and pin mail that you've sent to me that's super generous and um, I really really appreciate it and last but not least I have this box from Julie in Germany it says Deutsche Post so I think that means Germany I think this is my friend Julie who sent me mail before hi Julie I think you said you were gonna send me a thing so awesome I'm so excited to get more mail from you Got a nice big hefty box here let me open this up okay I got it open and right away it's like bursting at the seams something large and fluffy is poking out of the top of the box Julie what have you sent me I'm so excited let's see what it is Ooh, it's um it's a pillow oh it's really sweet it's a pillow and it has Belle on it. Belle in her beautiful gold ball gown. It's so, so pretty and cute, and I'm amassing a small collection of Disney throw pillows now, so I'll have to find a good spot for this one, but boy, she's just adorable. Thank you so much. I, Belle is my favorite besides Snow White, so mm, it's very huggable, and, um, and I love her. Thank you. Okay, now before I get ahead of myself, let me look and see if there's a note in here, because there are, um, there are several fun things in here. Here we go. Here's a note. Ooh, look at the stationery. Rapunzel is on the uh, outside of the envelope. Let's see what's in here. All kinds of fun stuff. Thank you, Julie, for thinking of me yet again. The note is also on this gorgeous Rapunzel stationery, and I'm gonna keep this to myself. Julie and I have um, have kind of gone back and forth um, for a while as friends, so I'm just gonna keep this note to myself, but thank you, lady, for thinking of me. And let's see what's in this fun box. First of all, I am seeing one of my favorite things possible, the Kinder Hippos. I love these Kinder Hippo treats. I love when people send me these treats. Julie was the first person to send me the uh, little Kim, uh, Kinder Hippo wafer cookie things, um, and they're so good. As far as I know, you can get these at some places in the U.S., but I never buy them in the U.S. I, I only get them when I'm traveling or when people send them to me. These are the yummiest cookies ever and she sent me three boxes of them hopefully i can make these last for a while i could like eat a whole box in one sitting because they're that addictive and delicious so thank you i love them you know me so well hooray i'm also seeing a disneyland paris guide map i love disneyland paris i went there three years ago i'm dying to go back it's a beautiful park beautiful park so thank you next i'm seeing a set of disney store buttons or like i think they call them badges <laughs> um, in in europe um, but they're lady and the tramp pin badges this is so cute. Have I mentioned I'm on a Disney dog kick lately? I'm totally on a Disney dog kick lately. These are adorable. Of course, Lady's my favorite, but I like this one. It says T and L, Tramp and Lady, and it's got their little paw prints. Once again, would have been great for a Valentine's Day pin board. Dang it, better start planning for next year. And there are two more fun gifty things inside of here. Let me show them to you. They both look like they are perfect for me. So first we have my, uh, my favorite villain, I think this is a Danielle Nicole item. I love Danielle Nicole stuff, let's see. Okay, I can't quite detach it from uh, the box yet, but it's like um, a keychain coin purse or like little pouch, it's beautiful. There's glitter on her crown and she's like staring into the mirror because you can see the mirror behind her. It's like you're looking at her reflection. She's gorgeous, I love this. I've never seen this before, but it's a, it's a Danielle Nicole piece. I'm kind of wanting to collect some Danielle Nicole now. Some of my friends have tons of awesome Danielle Nicole items, but I really only have a couple, and I'm really happy to have this one of my fave villain. And then finally, and I'm so excited about this, I am seeing something Jim Shore, and it's something Jim Shore and also Tinkerbell. I'm on a little bit of a figurine Jim Shore Disney showcase collection kind of kick. I'm on a Tinkerbell kick. I'm on all the kicks right now. There's lots of kicks so far in 2019. Um, but let me open this up. This is Darling. 
It says crafty tank. I agree, she is uh, quite crafty. I like that about her. Let's take a look at this figure. Oh boy, how do I get it out of here now? There we go. Oh my gosh, she is just so teeny and crafty and um, and perfect. I love her. Let me give you a close up. This is um, adorable and really nicely detailed like all the Jim Shore pieces are. I love this. So here she is, my girl Tinkerbell, sitting on a spool of thread. She's looking crafty. <laughs> I'm not in the paper mache sense of the word, but in the kind of spicy, clever sense of the word. And then she's got all this beautiful embellishment and design on her wings. And I love, I just love the style of so many of the Jim Shore pieces. And I have never seen this one before. I'm so excited to to have this. I'm, I'm getting a little collection of Tink figurines. And she's a great figurine character because she's so little anyway. It's like perfect. Julie, thank you so much. You have been so good to me over the course of my uh, my YouTube tenure, and you've been such a, a sweet friend, kind of uh, on the internet for me to chat with. So I really appreciate your your amazing package. I wasn't expecting any of that, and I'm super excited about my Tinkerbell, and I'm super excited to eat all the hippos, um, which I'll probably be doing as soon as I turn this off. I'm going for trail mix, and then I'm going for hippos. Sounds like dinner to me. Uh, anyway, thank you, girl, and hug to you in Germany and sometime I gotta get out there and um, give you a little visit. All right, everybody, that is it for today's Magic Mail Monday. It felt so good to be back and opening some mail from you. It had been way too long, and like I said, things are piling up, so if I didn't get to your package today, I will get to it in a future video. If you're worried that something you sent me perhaps got lost in the mail, feel free to send me an email, and uh, I can look through my uh, my storage bin in the guest bedroom, which is overflowing at the moment, but um, I really appreciate everyone who sends me a letter or a package or a DM or a PM or an email and um, I try to keep up but uh, sometimes I get behind so I apologize if I owe you an email or a message. Anyway, have a wonderful week everyone. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you are looking forward to this week. I like to keep Mondays as positive and happy as possible so please say something positive in the comments section and I will make sure to read through all of those and reply to, um, to some as well. And uh, that's all I have for today. Have a magical Monday. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you real soon. Bye, guys. Mwah.